So another location, another adventure awaits. So welcome back, lovely. This is Pokemon Show bringing some 90 goodness for you, trainers. Today is Thursday, June 1st, the very last day when the season of Rising Hero ends in Pokemon Go. It's a sad part, but on the other hand, the new season is awaiting soon, starting from today. So today's content is all about what this new season holds for the future in Pokemon Go and is it a good season or not? We are going to cover up that. So without any further ado, let's get started. So trainer, here it is, the June content update. The very first thing to notice is the Shadow Raids. These are back in Pokemon Go. So starting from June 10, Shadow Arcade Noble appeared in Shadow Raids during the weekend in June. So if you missed the previous Mewtwo Shadow Shiny, you can get your hands on the Shadow Arcatuno. So talking about the 5 star rates, Yuxi, Masquerade, Azel will be featured from June 1st to June 15th and they are available as Shiny. So previously you missed out, here is your chance. Also the Nihilego, the very first Ultra Beast Pokemon debuted in Pokemon Go. Here it is, you can get a Shiny Ultra Beast Nihilego from June 15th to June 29th. And after that, Heatron will be available until July 6th and is also shiny. Be sure to look at on the Nihilego very first shiny debut in Pokemon Go. So talking about the research breakthrough box, complete field search task to unlock research breakthrough encounter. So starting from June 1st until September 1st, Sebele, Beldon, Odino, Furfuru, Gumi, Noibat will be available while completing the research breakthrough box and all of them can be shiny instead of the Gumi. So talking about the Mega Raids, Mega Swampert, Mega Skeptile and an unknown mysterious Pokemon will be available in the Mega Raids. So many of the reports that we are getting a Mega Sableye or Mega Terminator as per the promo. Talking about the Raid Hour, it's gonna feature UC Mass Spirit as well from June 7 to June 14, Nihilego from June 21st and June 28th from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time. So should be sure to Join with your fellow trainers and get that shiny. Mm -hmm. uh, here it is, the very first event details are here. All Goldens in the upcoming Searching for Gold Research Day event. So, trainers, the Pokemon featured in a special upcoming Research Day are worth more than their weight in gold. So, starting from June 3rd, at 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time, the event theme field search task will be available when you spin the photo disc as Pokestop. Complete them to encounter the featured Pokemon. So, Caterpie, Magikarp, No Spice, Sabuli, Barbosh will be available while completing field search task. And because all of them are shiny and their color are golden, so this event is basically marked as all golden in Pokemon Go. So trainers talking about the second big event for the June month, Dive Into Water Festival Beach Week. So trainers, Ocean of Fun awaits in Water Festival Beach Week. Our Water Festival event returns with a Sandy Gash debut. So as seen in the promo earlier, enjoy a week featuring Pokemon you had find by Sunny Shores, Pokemon debut, Global Challenges, Special Time Boosters, Tickets and more. So Water Festival event will start from June 6th to June 12th, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. local time. So talking about the Pokemon which are debuting, so the Sandy Guest, the Sand Heap Pokemon and fellow Sand, the Sand Castle Pokemon will make their Pokemon Go debut. So trainers along with that, a global challenge will take place throughout the event. Work with trainers around the world to throw 300 million nice throws to unlock bonuses for all trainers until the remainder of the event. So basically when you complete the global challenge Google 300 million nice throw. The following bonuses will be active increased chance for nice, great, and excellent throws, increased chance for trainers level 31st and above, 
to get candy excel for successfully catching pokemon with these throws so talking about the pokemons wild encounter the following pokemons such as tentacool shelter crabby alone executor horsey staryu merrill wingo velmore spill finanin duvel fillish launcher and the very first time the launcher will be available as a shiny form which is that beauty in pokemon go so basically looking forward to fillish finanin and launcher during this event what's your let me know in the comments down below also fillish stars will reward you Lapras winning a scarf, Foolish, Binnacle, Clauncher, and Sandy Geist. So basically, the Sandy Geist, the new debating Pokemon, is not available to catch in while it's available in the Foolish task and in raids. So if you previously missed the Lapras wearing the scarf, you can get your hands on the shiny one. Also, there will be a spotlight hour featuring five Pokemon: Crabby, Kabuto, Corfish, Clauncher, Tobolar. From 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. local time, and you will get triple XP for catching Pokemon. So use your lucky egg to level up in Pokemon Go. Even bonuses: the Rainy Leo module will last long to four hours. That's great. Also, there will be a time research for US five dollars or equivalent currency. Complete the task to earn a Surfer pose for your avatar and encounter with event team Pokemon. So be sure to complete the time research task in the time. Because it will disappear on Monday, June twelve, at eight p.m. local time. Pokemon Star Raids: Diglett, Huzwin, Quillfish, Carvena, Tebus, and Sandigas. In three Star Raids: Blastoise, Gyarados, Lapras, and Alolomula. In five Star Raids: Yuzi, Mesprit, Azelf, and in Mega Raids: Mega Swampert will be available. The Lake Rio Pokemon will be available as per the region basis. Also, the new Ota items will be available too in the shop. The Sandy Guest Hat, Driver Outfit, and Driver Goggles. So trainers, we are inside the park for this special announcement. The June 2023 Community Day. It's going to feature the Tanfred Pokemon, the Exu, the Dragon type Pokemon is here. So trainers, we are excited to announce that the Exu, the test Pokemon, will be featured during the June Community Day, starting from June 10, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. So Exu will get the event exclusive move, Breaking Swipe, which is the Rayquaza, the Dragon type Pokemon, get earlier during the. Primal Rumble event. So talking about the event bonuses, will be more setting because trainers will get triple XP for catching Pokemon, double candy for catching Pokemon, and double chance to get Axel candy from catching Pokemon. Also, the lure modules in sense will last three hours, and during the event duration, take a few snapshot for Sapphire, which is the Azu. Also, you can do one additional special trade for a maximum of three for the day. Also, trade will require 50% less starters. Also, when the community day ends after 5 p.m., you can also challenge the unique four-star raid battles. Claiming victory in one of them will cause more exu to appear around the gym. Speakers will be available by spinning poke shops, opening gifts, and purchasing them from in-game shop. Also, if you're looking for other trainers in your area to trade battle or join raid battles, you can check out the community day map. the popular locations and the sponsored location will be available so yeah then this is it all for today journey with 90 games i hope you guys do going to enjoy the upcoming events which are lined up for the june month so let me know what event is your favorite one is it the exu community day or the all golden research day or it can be any event which is lined up for the june month So yeah, tell us with that being said, thanks for all for watching. Don't forget to press the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will definitely catch you guys in my next one. So until then, keep exploring, keep doing what you love, because as Nantix says, adventure is always out there. So meet you out there, bye guys.